Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said interest is haram. And whoever dwell in taking interest, that person should be ready to wage war with me. I quoted the verse here to us last week. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and let in a riba, those that are consuming, those that are happy, those that are overwhelmed, and they are contented with taking interest. Like a kumuna, they will never stand, they will never be raised in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Illa kamaya kumun ladiya tahabbato shaitan min al -masi. Those people, they will never stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead they will be struggling, they will be staggering like somebody that shaitan has touched and is intoxicated. They will never be able to stay or stand in a proper alignment the way me am standing. They will never be able to do that. They will be staggering like a drunkard, like a person that shaitan has touched. They won't have any stability. That's how they are going to be raised inside of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zalika bi anna unkoli. Because they, they have said with their mouth, inna ma beha, that trading, buying and selling, missing the river, they will say buying and selling is also equivalent to what? Interest. They will say that. But Allah now said, they are, it's a fallacy. They are telling nonsense. Allah now said that, wa hala Allah will beha, wa arrama riba. Allah said, but I permitted you to do transaction of buying and selling lawfully. Why am I riba? But I forbid. It's a taboo for any one of you to do what? To participate in anything interest. In Islam, we have like five types of contracts that are null and void of interest. That if me and you will practice it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bless whatever we are doing. Number one. It's what we call al mudaraba. Mudaraba is a kind of contract. It's a kind of investment. It's a kind of transaction that Mr. Hay has money. He will not bring his money. That me, I have money, but I don't have the skill. Mr. B might be the skill person. Example, like an engineer. Relating with a politician or relating with one rich man. The politician doesn't have any engineering knowledge, but he has the money. You now look for one engineer. Engineer, you come. Let us be using your brain. Me, I have the money. You now bring down the money. This is the type of contract, this type of agreement, this type of understanding we call al mudarraba in Islam, in Fikul Islam. Now, the person that is bringing the money is what you, is the person we call Rockpool Man, the owner of the money. And the person that has the brain, that they want to use his brain to spend that money, to bring contract, to do every work, is the person we call Al Mudarrib. If they want to start, whenever they want to start the discussion, before they start the contract, before they file the investment, they must sit down on the round table for a discussion. And in the discussion, they must mention what is going to be the sharing ratio of their profits. Somebody has money, Mr. A has money. Mr. B is intelligent. They want to use his brain. So they will sit down before entering into that agreement that, okay, we are going to share the profits 50-50. I don't think there is anybody that wants to invest the money that will share his profit with somebody that just wants to use his brain 50 50. Can never happen. Even me, I will not do it. Can I like maybe 60 40? If it is not established, whatever comes out of the business, the money I put from it will have interest and it's going to be haram. So, this kind of investment we can do in Islam. If the risk, you know there is nothing you are doing that doesn't have risk. If the risk, if the risk comes in, in the business, let me for instance, they want to go and bring pro, uh, refined products from the Republic, 
or from any francophone or from anywhere. Then the vessel that is bringing the product into Nigeria Sea, so that your trunk will not go and load it from maybe a papa or from Tinka. The vessel now capsized on the high sea. You see, the loss of that investment, it belongs to the rubble man alone, the owner of the money. The Mudagri, the person that they are using his brain, the engineer that they are using his brain, eh, will not share any loss. But that is not in our own conventional banks. Before you go to the conventional bank, before you go to the conventional bank, you too, you know you must have some collateral you want to go and deliver in the bank that I want to take 100 million naira loan. And right from that day, you will know the interest that that 100 million naira will be accruing on daily basis. That is the interest that Islam is telling us to run away from. Even our money that we are keeping in the bank, we don't know what they are using it for. Guinness, beauty, they will go there. People that want to build hotel, that they will be doing prostitution, they will go there to go and borrow money. People that are establishing clubs, nightclubs, girls, some people's daughters, who go and be doing strippers, they will go and collect money in that bank that me and you are depositing our money. How are we going to account for it in the day of Kiyama? Are we not contributing to the social menace? So, for al modern Raba, the risk will be bought by the what? By the owner of the money alone. The modernity has nothing to lose. As far as we didn't discover that he was the one that perpetrated the evil of the vessel of the sea to capsize. He was not the one that led to the destruction of the business. You know, people are so funny because maybe in the agreement of the sharing ratio, He's not contented. But he's dealing with a big man. He can't talk. He can't even look at his face. Everything, yes, sir. Everything, yes, sir. Everything, yes, sir. But he knows that the 98% of the world is him that is going to do it with his brain. Even throughout the project, the Babolo might not even come there. So the Babolo will just slap to the bank and go and receive the money. So this engineer, as a case study, this engineer you not say, oh, for him to acquire this kind of profit and just give me a peanut, I will make sure that that business fails. If they discover that during the investigation, the engineer will be held responsible and they must pay part of the loss. But if he doesn't have that trait, we can't trade anything to him that he was part, he was culpable to the loss of the business. The risk alone will be bought by the what? By the investor. That is what we call al mudar raba, a contract of mudar raba without interest in Islam. Number two, al musharaka. Al musharaka involves more than two people. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four. But mudar raba is just two. The person that will bring his money and the person that will help in executing what they want to use that money for. But musharaka, it can be more than two, four, six, or countable number of people. Here. We are going to have Rabul Mal and we are going to have Al Musharik. Rabul Mal is the person that will bring his money. Al Musharik is the person that will do what? They will use his brain. That, okay, you are the one that we are going to use your brain. We will have money. But yet, an agreement will be here, family established that will be different from that of Al Mudar Rabba. They will sit down together. How much is going to be our sharing ratio? Their sharing ratio. Or those that bring the money, they will share the profit according to how much they contributed. If you have a contract of 10 million naira now, 